Hi, I'm Kay, and in this video, we will slow this problem. Internal server error. If you have this problem, and, and you have a an GoDaddy account, then it could be almost everything. What we are going to do is to see the details of this error. What you have to do first is just go to the domain and see in the hosting settings if the custom error documents is enabled press ok then just refresh and you will get this error after this you go to the root file in my case it's hddocs HD, http docs royal then you go to the file on the http docs then royal and you create a new file create a new file you name this file web.config like this go to the file and go and edit it on the code editor you can do that in your code editor too and then just upload that it's the same thing in here we just write this code I will add this code to the description down below so you can get it. You press OK. OK, after this is saved successfully, you go and refresh your page again. And here is the real error. That error that causes this. In my case, it's a simple database error, so the connection can not be the connection is the access is denied but in your case it could be anything detailed errors so we can know what uh, we should do what you have to do is i have an account at godaddy so but this problem could be anywhere so what you are what you're going to do is uh, go to the hosting settings whatever they are in your account and go down and check custom error documents okay you have to make sure you know your root and your root is